Hello, teacher. Good Hello, evening. teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Very right. Very good. Oh, okay. Is it rainy in the place where you live? Is it rainy there? Yes. Yes, it's, it's raining. raining. It's raining a lot. So no. here the place where I live is it's raining. raining in a paneca, teacher. Good um, evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Luis. Hugo. Hello, teacher. Hello, Welcome teacher. How are you today? How are you today? I'm fine, well. I am fine. Thank you. And you? Okay, that's great. I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Thank you so much. So yesterday we were learning about months and days. Ayer estuvimos aprendiendo acerca de los meses del año y también acerca de los ordinal numbers and how to say dates. Como decir fechas. Y si durante la clase tenemos algún problema, ¿verdad? Por la lluvia, este, no se vayan a desconectar, ¿verdad? Alguien se va a conectar, por ejemplo, que se vaya el internet o que quede friciada la pantalla. Eh, keep calm. Mantengamos la calma, please. ¿De acuerdo? Alguien se va a conectar en caso de que nos desconectemos porque está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Si no me pueden escuchar o si no se puede ver la presentación, me avisan, por favor. ¿De acuerdo? Eso, ok. okay. okay. Thank you so, much. so, let's start with this question. How do you feel tonight? How do you feel? Look at this question. How do you feel? How do you feel tonight? What is a good answer for this question? How do you feel tonight? I feel happy. Ah, okay, thank you so much. Then you say, I feel. That is the answer. Thank you. I feel. I feel happy. Me siento feliz. Thank you, Ivan. Any other answer? How do you feel tonight? Can you say, I feel. Any other answer? We can use the next amplitude, for example, sad. Do you feel sad tonight? Se sienten tristes el día de hoy? I feel good. Okay, excellent. So you say, I feel good. I feel, I feel tired. Okay, I feel tired. Me siento cansado. I feel excellent. Okay, I feel excellent. I feel angry. I feel angry. Me siento enojado. Las pupusas de la cena no tenían mucha salsa. Así que I feel angry tonight. Me siento enojado. No alcanzó el café para mí. I feel angry. ¿Qué otro adjetivo podemos utilizar? I feel happy. I feel sad. I feel good. I feel tired. I feel excellent. I feel angry. Which other one? I feel so exhausted. Okay, I feel exhausted. 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 Okay. I, I feel, feel relaxed. Excellent. I feel relaxed. Okay, I feel relaxed tonight. Then we can use this adjective to answer this question. How do you feel tonight? Podemos utilizar esta pregunta en lugar de how are you? Then you say, how do you feel? So you say, Hugo Giovanni, how do you feel tonight? Your microphone. I feel happy. Just feel happy. Okay, excellent. Excellent answer. Thank you. Flor de Maria, how do you feel tonight? I'm so so. Okay, I'm so so. Okay. So far, so good. Más o menos. 
Damaris Rodriguez, how do you feel tonight? I feel good, teacher. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Bueno, mañana que les pregunte, how do you feel tonight? Ustedes me van a responder, I feel con uno de estos adjetivos. I feel happy, I feel sad, I feel good, I feel tired. I feel excellent, I feel angry, I feel exhausted, I feel relaxed. Okay, don't forget about this, please. Teacher, okay. y se puede, por ejemplo, I feel okay, se puede usar así. Mm. Ese no, ese es expresión. el verbo to be. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Do you have any questions about yesterday class? Questions? Preguntas acerca de la clase de ayer? No, teacher. No questions. No questions, teacher. Okay, then I have a question for you. Tengo una pregunta para ustedes. Eh, levante la mano, please. Quien ya ingresó a la plataforma? Quien ya comenzó los ejercicios en la plataforma? Okay, I have Samuel, Did Jonathan, you? Ivan, y Flor de María, Francisco. Y, veamos I María Dolores. I feel, Flor I de María, tú. Teacher, bueno. yo estuve trabajando en eso toda la tarde, pero no pude ingresar. Y la chica, la colaboradora, me empezó a ayudar, pero parece que el correo se bloqueó. Entonces, hasta mañana me dijo que íbamos a intentar a ver si podía entrar, pero hoy no he podido entrar. Ok, está perfecto. Entonces, me comunica mañana si sí lo logró o no, por favor. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Qué más? Yo igual, estuve en el hoy. Bueno, creo que se bloquea por 24 horas. Tendríamos que esperar a mañana ¿verdad? para que intente mañana. ¿También le está ayudando a alguien, Hugo? Eh, no, eso ya estaba intentando, como en la oficina estaba intentando ya. Recuerde que es su correo más la contraseña que usted ya sabe, ¿verdad? From one to... From one to five. Intenta mañana y si no escribe en el grupo, por favor, Hugo Giovanni, para poder escribir. Ah, okay. Y sobre eso, ¿sí que le puede agregar al grupo también, por fin. Ah, ok. Dicho, yo tengo una consulta. Claro. Eh, eh, yo estuve en la plataforma, pero mm, en los módulos anteriores he podido descargar el libro y ahora no he podido. El libro. Bueno, creo que para este No lo veo módulo, por ningún lado. No hay material escrito para este módulo. Ajá. Por eso es que no lo ha podido descargar. No hay material escrito. Por el chat les acabo de compartir el link del grupo de WhatsApp para los que no se han unido. Ah, ok. Ok. Bueno, démosle un vistazo Gracias. a la plataforma. Let's check it. Out. Esta es la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y está dividida en cinco secciones. It has been divided in five sections. Section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. During the first week, we are going to work in section number one and section number two. Then following week, we are going to work in this part. Section three and also these midterms. It has five questions. Then... We are going to work in section number four, and finally section number five, and also the final exam. This is the platform. This is the content on the platform. So let's go with section number one. In section number one, you are going to find this series of videos and also you are going to find the exercises. This is the objective of the lesson. You are going to find here the objective of the lesson. So you can read it in English and also in Spanish. Then you are going to find 
some videos that are going to help you a lot about the topic that we are studying. This is yesterday's topic, for example. Yesterday we studied months and dates. Then the goal for tonight is this. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask an answer yes, no question using be going to. This is the lesson for tonight. And here you are going to find a video too. Aquí usted encuentra este video informativo donde puede practicar, ¿verdad? Este tema, the future we're going to. And then you are going to find this exercise. ¿Alguien ya resolvió este ejercicio? No, ya. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, okay. That's right. Thank you. So, Iván ya lo hizo también. That's great. Y esta es la plataforma. A medida que se vaya realizando las actividades, los ejercicios y las evaluaciones, puede ir viendo su progreso. Se viene aquí a la fecha, a la ficha donde dice progreso y acá va a ir viendo la gráfica, ¿verdad? Para pasar el curso necesita llegar al 80%. Aquí es Homework 1, Homework 2, Homework 3, Homework 4 y Homework 5. Eh, then we have the meter and the final exam. And that's the platform. Esta es la plataforma, ¿verdad? Al final, cuando usted ya complete el 80% y sea la fecha adecuada, por acá le va a aparecer la opción de ver, su, de ver y descargar su diploma. Esto va a ser cuando ya complete el 80% de la plataforma, ¿no? Y ya estemos finalizando con el curso. Do you have any question about the platform? Teacher. No question. No. Teacher. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Do you hola. have a question? Hola, hola, hola. Eh, me escucho un poco suave. Hola. Se me está fallando el... Hola. Sí. Ahora sí, dígame. Este, con los compañeros que tienen problemas para ingresar a la plataforma. Eh, tal vez pueda ayudarles respecto a eso porque este yo ingresé con eh, el correo electrónico desde el primer módulo y con la misma contraseña entonces automáticamente me dijeron de que así se puede ingresar eh, deberían ah, de, de, de la contraseña anterior ahí están los, yo tengo los tres módulos en, en, en la plataforma y los dos, el, el uno y el dos, que ya había hecho, y el tres. Entonces, automáticamente me dijeron a mí que podía entrar a la, a la plataforma. Muy bien, pueden intentar así, ¿verdad? Intentando con el correo que lo habían hecho anteriormente, en el módulo uno y en el módulo dos. Pueden intentar también, en caso de que hayan cambiado su correo. Okay. Gracias. Gracias por la información. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go with tonight's class then. If you don't have any other question, si no tienen otra pregunta, let's start with tonight's class. No more questions? No, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's go then. Tonight we are going to learn how to use the future tense using the expression going to. The verb to be plus going to. And this is the topic for tonight. What are we going to do? So welcome to the class number two. Let's start. So weekend plans. ¿Qué planes tienen para el próximo fin de semana? ¿Ya pensaron qué van a hacer? Weekend plans. What are you going to do next weekend? I'm working, teacher. Okay, you say I'm going to work. I am going to work. I'm going to church, teacher. Hello. I'm going to church. Uh, I'm going to church. Ah, okay. I'm going to I'm go going to, to the to church. church. Voy a ir a la iglesia. Muy bien. I'm going to sleep. Okay, excellent plan. I'm going to sleep. 
Voy a dormir todo el fin de semana. Great. I'm going to class. Okay. I'm going to have classes. I'm going to have classes. Voy a tener clases. ¿Alguien más ya tiene planes para el fin de semana? What are you going to do? I'm going to church too. I'm going to? Church too. La iglesia. Okay, I'm going to go to the church. Excellent plan. Teacher, I'm going to visit a family. Okay, I'm going to visit my family. Great. Bueno, algunos van a ir a comer a la pizza, otros van a ir I'm a la playa. I'm going to play soccer. I'm going to play soccer. I'm going to play soccer. Algunos van a ir a la cancha, a jugar fútbol. Algunos van a visitar a sus parientes. So, how to express those plans in English? ¿Cómo es, expresamos esos planes en inglés? Look at this picture. Observen la imagen de este chico. He is thinking about his weekend plans. So, él está diciendo lo siguiente. Let's see the first sentence. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to go to a picnic. I'm going to have a party. I'm going to have a barbecue. I'm going to do some housework. I'm going to do some yard work. So observe en cuantos planes tiene el. Eh, going to the beach, go to the movies, go to a picnic, have a party, have a barbecue do some housework and do some job work. So I'm, si los planes son míos, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going Teacher. to go to the beach. Yes? Um, I am going is, yo estoy yendo. Es como yo voy a, Ajá. Yo voy a, yo voy a ir a la playa, yo voy a ir al cine, yo voy a ir a un picnic, yo voy o sea, a que no es de, de presente continuo cuando decimos I am. En este caso es para hacer oraciones en el futuro, lo que va a suceder, los planes uh -huh. que tenemos para el futuro. Okay. okay. Thank you for your question and thank you for your phone number two. And then this contraction, I'm, es lo mismo que I am. I'm going or I am going to. It's the same. I'm and I am. It's the contraction of the verb to be. Uh, Hugo, Giovanni, do you have a question? Sí, teacher. Ten, uh, tengo una pregunta. Eh, para decir este... Eh, no tengo nada planeado para el fin de semana. Uso el will. Oh, ¿Cómo haría? Oh, I don't have any plan. I don't, I don't have, have any plan, plan for the next weekend. El contrario uh, de, pero el contrario de going, porque es como va, eh, es lo que voy a hacer el fin de semana. Pero digamos que lo quiero así como para pasado, no sé, no sé cómo para decirlo aunque quiero, algo así por el estilo. No sé, hay como otra, otro verbo, algo así, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Quiere decir los planes que hizo el fin de semana pasado? Cabal, correcto. En, en ese caso sería así. Bye, por ejemplo, I played soccer. Ahí sería el verbo en pasado. I played soccer. Yo jugué fútbol. Um, I visited. I visited my family. Y antes de eso podemos agregarle esta expresión. Last weekend. Last weekend I. El okay. fin de semana pasado yo jugué soccer. Es pasado simple. Last week. Last weekend I played soccer. Last weekend I visited my family. Eso fue lo que hice el, el fin de semana pasado. Lo que voy a hacer el, el fin de semana que viene. Entonces voy a, voy a hacer la oración utilizando el verbo to be más going to. Como los ejemplos. I'm going to go to the beach. 
Eso no ha sucedido. Es un plan que tengo para el próximo fin de semana. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for your question. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. En Tell este me. caso, normalmente el, el, el auxiliar que se utiliza, como en el inglés hay varias formas, pero en este caso cuando nos referimos al futuro, eh, es I will. Digamos que eh, es, es, me imagino que lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero ¿qué diferencia habría entre, entre el will y el boy to? Ok, that's a great question. Thank you so much. Eh, ambos son para hacer eh, oraciones en el futuro. El auxiliar en will y la estructura el verbo to be plus going to. La diferencia radica en el significado. Cuando yo digo I'm going to, significa que yo ya tengo ese plan. Si yo digo I'm going to go to the beach, significa que ya tengo la toalla lista, el bikini listo, el carro listo. Entonces ya es un plan, ya es un plan que yo tengo. Y cuando utilizo el will, es como una predicción. I will go to the beach. Puede que sí vaya o puede que no vaya. O en ese momento lo decido. Digo, I will go to the beach. Voy a ir a la playa. Él lo decide en ese momento, pero el going to es más para plans. Ok, thank you, teacher. En el I will, usamos el verbo to be. Eh, well. No, en, eh, veamos un ejemplo. En el will no se utiliza el verbo to be. Okay. Second. Solo necesito el sujeto, el auxiliar will y un verbo. Así de fácil. I will dance, por ejemplo. El futuro will, simple, ¿no? I will cook. I will dance. I will cook. She will dance. She will cook. Solo necesito sujeto, will y un verbo. Y eso es todo para utilizar el will. Ok, thank you. Ok, excellent question. Thank you so much. Any other question? No more question in this part. Thank you for your question. So, let's see. Estos son los planes míos, pero then you say, I'm going, I'm going to. Si son los planes de una tercera persona, como por ejemplo en este caso, los planes de ella, I'm going to use she's. She's going to listen to music. She's going to visit her relatives. She's going to go to the countryside. She's going to paint her house. She's going to watch a movie with her friend. She's going to watch a movie with her friends. In este caso, she is, es la forma contractada de she is. She is. Si son los planes de ella, she is going to listen to music, she's going to visit her relatives, she's going to go to the countryside, she's going to paint her house, she's going to watch a movie with her friends. New vocabulary in these sentences. Palabras nuevas en estas oraciones. Yes. What is yes. Uh, relatives? Relatives. Parientes. She's going to visit her relatives. Va a visitar a sus parientes. Any other new word? Also, countryside. Countryside, eso significa fuera de la ciudad. Ella va a salir al campo. Va a ir a disfrutar de la naturaleza en el campo. She's going to go to the countryside. Any other? Then I need a volunteer who wants to practice reading these sentences. Let's go one and one. And number one, Jaime Rodriguez, can you help me with number one, please? She's going to listen to music. Thank you so much. And number two, Luis Edgardo, please. She's going to visit her relatives. Thank you so much. Jose Alberto, number three. Jose Alberto, hello. 
Number three. Okay. Jamilet, number three, please. She's going to the countryside. Okay, she's going to go to the countryside. Thank you. Number four. Let me see if I have another volunteer. Hugo, thank you so much. Number four, please. She's going to, to the train her uh, house, her house. Thank you so much. Ivan, number five, thank you. She's going to watch a movie with her friend. Excellent, thank you so much. Veamos. Okay, we are going to practice in the next. So, estos son los planes de ella, ¿verdad? She's going to. Veamos los planes de él. Look at this. He's planning his activities for the next weekend. So, his weekend plans are the next one. He's going to go swimming. He's going to play soccer. He's going to go dancing. He's going to eat out with his family. He's going to go bowling. His is the contraction of he is. New vocabulary in these five sentences. New words, new vocabulary. Let me know, please. It's bowling. Bowling, boliche. Tira los bulos. Yes. Have you ever played bowling? ¿Alguna vez han jugado bolos, boliches? No, teacher. No. No, I, I am no. No, okay. Do it, do it. It's a very good sport. Hugo Giovanni, do you have a question? Yes, yes, yes. sí, teacher. Ah, okay. ¿Verdad que es divertido? Super. You are going to have a lot of fun. So do it if you have the chance. Tell me, Hugo, what is your question? Uh, like, for he, uh, he is going to eat out with his family. Ah, okay. Eat out. It means salir a un restaurante, ¿verdad? comer fuera de la casa. He's going to eat out with his family. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your question. Any other question? Muy bien, recuerden, si estamos hablando de los planes de él, we are going to say his. He's going to. He's going to go swimming. He's going to play soccer. He's going to go dancing. He's going to eat out with his family. He's going to go bowling. Teacher, I'm yes? sorry. And number two, she's going to go play soccer or it's only she's going to play soccer? He's going to play soccer. He's going to play soccer. ¿Por qué no lleva el cottage? Ah, ok. La estructura de estas oraciones es la siguiente. Sujeto, verbo to be, going to, más un verbo. En este caso lleva go, porque la expresión ir a nadar es go swimming. Go swimming. También puedo decir, he's going to swim. Él va a nadar. He's going to swim. Él va a nadar. He's going to dance. Él va o sea a bailar. En todo caso, podríamos obviar el go. Pero le cambiaría. En algunas. Ya no tiene que decir dancing. Tendría que decir Ajá. dance. He's going dance. to dance. Sin el ing. Ajá. Entonces, la oración significaría, él va a bailar. Y en la que yo escrito acá, él va a ir a bailar. Ahí sería tercera persona. Perdón. Sí, esta sería you, tercera teacher. persona. Ok, thank you so much for your question. Eh, a volunteer to read the number one, please. I'm going to choose Maria Dolores. Can you help me, please, with number one? Ok. He's going to the swimming. Thank you so much. Andrea, number two, please. He's going to play soccer. Thank no. you so much. Luis Edgardo, the next. 
he's going to go dancing. Thank you. Then Francisco, the next one, please. Francisco Antonio, number four. He's gonna eat out with his family. Okay, thank you. He's gonna eat out with his family. Okay. Eh, la expresión going to se puede reducir a gonna. Gonna es otra pronunciación o una pronunciación informal para going to. So he's gonna eat out with his family. Eso lo vamos a practicar en la siguiente clase. ¿no? So, the last one. Any volunteer to read the number five? Thank you. Sorry. Okay, do it, Hugo. He's going to go bowling. Bowling. He's going bowling. to go bowling. Okay. And Damaris, can you help me with number one? Yes, teacher. He's going to go swimming. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation. Thanks a lot for your help in this. Then let's see. Los planes de él. Tercera persona. Ahora, los planes de ellos. Their weekend plans. ¿Qué van a hacer ellos? So, they are going to visit El Salvador. Ellos van a visitar El Salvador. They are going to visit El Salvador. They are going to go to Ilopango Lake. Van a ir a Pulo, ¿verdad? Comer pesca. They are going to go to Ilopango Lake. They are going to visit the zoo. No saben que ya lo cerraron. Van a ir a ver si los dejan entrar al zoológico. They are going to visit the zoo. They are going to go hiking to Cerro Verde. And also they are going to eat pupusas at los planes de render. Dice tu tía. They are going que to. Van a llevar al pavo y la pava dulce el sábado. Oh, ok. Que Is... si le quiero mandar, ya voy a ver qué le puedo mandar unas cositas a mamá. Sí. Me dijo que con tiempo me está avisando. Ya nos enteramos lo que va a ser el fin de semana. La compañera. De su público, sus planes. Ok, now they are going to. Ellos, ¿verdad? They are going to. Any new vocabulary in these five sentences? They are, es la contracción de they are. They are. Ellos son o ellos están. New vocabulary. Yes, teacher. In the number four. He, ah, okay. hiking. hiking. They are going to go hiking. Hi Eso es hacer una caminata. Ellos van a ir a caminar al Cerro Verde. They are going to go hiking. Any other question? ¿Es verdad que las pupusas en los planes son delicious? Yes, so, so. Yes, so, so. Yes. Todas son deliciosas. Ah, ok, excelente respuesta. Todas son deliciosas. ¿Dónde las compro? Teacher. Yes. Eh, el number two. Eh, sí. Ilopango Lake. El lago de Ilopango. They are going to visit or they are going to go to Ilopango Lake. Lake. Lake, yes. Ok, thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. A volunteer to read number one. Eh, una pregunta. Eh, yes. Sería como, ellos van a ir a visitar El Salvador. ¿va? Así como van a ir. Ajá. Ellos visitarán. O ellos Ajá. van a ir a visitar El Salvador. Ellos visitarán. O también como, ellos visitarán. Eh, o ellos van a ir al lago de Ilopango. Así es. Ok. So, yo voy a leer la primera. Okay, thank you. They're going to visit El Salvador. Thank you so much. Then I have the Maris. Now the second, please. They're going to go to Ilopango Lake. Thank you so much. Luis Edgardo, number three. 
They're going to visit the zoo. Thank you so much. Hugo Giovanni, number four. They're, they're going to eat pupusa at Los Flores. Thank you so much. Jamilet, number four. They are going to go hiking to Cerro Verde. Thank you, Ivan. Number one and number two. They are going to visit El Salvador. They are going to go to the final Thank you so much. Excellent job, thank you. I have a chat here. I'm sorry, teacher, it's raining very strong. Okay, Francisco Antonio, I understand. It is raining too. Any other question? If you don't have any other question, then go with this. How to make sentences using going to? En esta diapositiva vamos a aprender la estructura de estas oraciones. So, we are going to need a subject, verb be, plus going to, plus a verb, and a complement. Esta es la estructura que van a llevar siempre estas oraciones con el going to. Primero necesitamos un sujeto, el verbo to be. ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be? El verbo to be tiene tres formas en presente. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Quién se acuerda? I, you, um, he. Um, okay, I, más o um, menos. Are, is, um, are, is. Ok, I, okay. R, is. Más o menos, las tres formas del verbo to be en presente son las que escribió Francisco en el chat. Am, is, and also are. Then you say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. So let's see the next example. I'm going to Teacher, study English. Yes? Can you repeat, please? So, I'm going to write this. Se las voy a escribir por acá. Thank you, teacher. Then you say, I am. What is the next? You are. You are. He is. He is. She, she is. is. Then we have it. Is. Okay. Day. Esos son los singulares. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. Then I have the plurals. We, nosotros. We are. Y ustedes. You are. They, they are. And they are. Y así conjugamos el verbo to be. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. Una pregunta, Yes. Eh, eh, perdón. Eh, yo solo eh, me perdí un, un poco, teacher. Eh, estaba hablando sobre como tres formas del, del verbo. Am, um, is y are. Entonces, eso que usted acaba de escribir ahí en rojo, ese, perdone, ¿qué es? Ahí sí me perdí. Ah, esa es la conjugación del verbo to be. Y acá están las tres formas con su sujeto. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. Ok, entonces solo para terminar, eh, ¿se puede conjugar en todos los, los, los verbos esto? En todos los, con los pronombres personales. Yes. Pronombres, eso. Gracias, gracias. Ok. ¿Quién más tenía preguntas? Any de hecho, eh, tengo una duda. Eh, uh -huh. You are se usa tanto para el singular como para el plural. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Da. La diferencia es que el primero, you are, significa usted, tú o usted. El segundo es plural, ustedes. 
pero en una oración, eh, ¿cómo podemos distinguir si estamos hablando de usted o de ustedes? Nada más por, por lo que consigue de la oración, el contexto. Así es, por el contexto, por ejemplo, si yo escribo la siguiente oración, tenía luego de sentences, you are my friend. ¿Está en plural o está en singular? Singular. Singular, y si yo digo, you are my friends. Plural. plural. Ahora está en plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, así lo vamos a ir distinguiendo por el contexto de las oraciones. En el primero, tú eres mi amigo. Y en el siguiente, you are my friends. Ustedes son mis amigos. You are my friends. Okay. Ok. Any other question? I have ones. Um, el contexto. Ok. Thank you, Francisco. Yes. So we have to pay attention to the context of the sentence. Thank you. Ok. If you don't have any other question, let's come back with going to. So let's recuerda la estructura. Subject plus verb be plus going to plus verb plus complement. So, take a look at these sentences. I'm going to study English. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esta oración? What is the subject? I. 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 ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo to be? Am. Um, Am. Um, solo que está contractado. Luego tengo la expresión going to. Lo siguiente es el verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Study. 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 Eh, y el complemento. English. 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 Perfect. Very good. Let's see the next. You are going to stay at home. You're going to stay at home. So you is the subject. R is the correct form of the verb be. Going to. The verb is to stay and the complement at home. You are going to stay at home. Tú estarás en casa. He's going to go to the gym. Él va a ir al gimnasio en el próximo fin de semana. So he's going to go to the gym. He is the subject. He is the verb be. Going to. Go is the verb. And to the gym is the complement. She's going to play video games. Ella va a jugar video juegos. She's going to play video games. We are going to do yoga. Nosotros vamos a hacer yoga el próximo fin de semana. So we're going to do yoga. They're going to dance cumbia. Ellos van a bailar cumbia. Haciendo la limpieza en casa el fin de semana. So they are going to dance cumbia. Do you have any question about the structure of the going to? Questions? No questions. So I'm going to study English. You are going to stay at home. Teacher. Yes. Solo una consultita. Eh, uh -huh. Aquí en la donde dice we're going to do yoga. Yes. El going is where to be. No. We are going to do yoga. We is the subject. Are. El verbo to be uh -huh. is are. Solo que está contractado. Are. We. Uh -huh. We are or we are. Y then el do, teacher. Going to. Going to. Do. Luego tenemos el verbo que es do. El complemento yoga. We are going to do yoga. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? La pronunciación de la dance, de dance es dance. 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 They're going to dance cumbia. Okay, thank you. No more questions. Okay, don't forget about this structure. No se le olvide esta estructura, ¿verdad? Siempre la vamos a utilizar cuando esté utilizando el going to en una oración afirmativa. 
la presentación siempre se la voy a estar compartiendo después de la clase en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿verdad? Ahí la puede encontrar y la puede descargar. Ok, let's go with this. How to make questions. Cómo hacer, cómo hacer preguntas con el going to. Por ejemplo, yo quiero saber si Flor de María va a comer pupusas el sábado. Entonces yo le pregunto, are you going to eat pupusas? Are you going to eat pupusas? Y ella me dice, yes, I am. No, I not. Sí, yo voy a comprar o no, no voy a comer. No voy a comer. Quiero saber si Samuel va a ir al parque o no el próximo fin de semana. Entonces, are you going to go to the park? ¿Vas a ir al parque? Quiero saber si Andrea se va a ir de compras. ¿Are you going to go shopping? ¿Se va a ir de compras el próximo fin de semana? No, teacher, ya pasó el 30. No money. Va. Esta es la estructura para una pregunta. Vamos a colocar el verbo to be al inicio de la oración. Verb being, plus subject, plus going to, plus verb. That's complement and finally the question mark. In English, we just use one question mark. In español, lo hacemos al principio y al final de la oración. In English, just at the end of the question. In English, solo al final de cada pregunta, verdad? Ahí va el question mark. Let's take a look at the following examples. Are you going to have a birthday party? ¿Vas a tener una fiesta de cumpleaños? Is she going to go dancing tonight? ¿Va a ir ella a bailar esta noche? Is he going to clean his room? ¿Va a limpiar en su cuarto? Are we going to do exercise? ¿Vamos a hacer ejercicio? Are they going to listen to music? So, question. Primero el verbo to be, luego el sujeto, going to, el verbo y el complemento. And don't forget about the question mark at the end. Y no se les olvide el signo de pregunta al final. Okay, how to answer this question? Are you going to have a birthday party? Then we answer with the verb to be. ¿Cuál de esas es la respuesta correcta para la número uno? Are you going to have a birthday party? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay, excellent. It's letter C. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Perfect. What is the answer for the second one? Hugo Giovanni, do you have a question? No, no. No, no, no. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, le tomaron ventaja. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Number two. Is he going to go dancing tonight? Yes. Yes, she is. Or no, she yes, isn't. she is. Okay, excellent. Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Number three. Is he going to clean his room? Yes. He is or no, he isn't. Thank you so much. Number four, are we going to do exercise? What is the respuesta? Yes, no, we yes, are. We are. We are. No, we are. No. Excellent. Thank you so much. Are they going to listen to music? Yes, they are. Or not they are. Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do you have any question in this part? No question? Bueno, tengo unos ejercicios para ustedes. Vamos a ver cómo nos va in the next exercises. Let's go with them. Let's practice. Okay, this question is for, let me choose somebody here. Let's see. Jose Alberto, are you going to cook next weekend? Um, yes, I am. Okay, that's great. Maria Elizabeth, are you going to cook next weekend?
Uh, yes, I am. Okay, that's great. So, ¿va a cocinar el próximo fin de semana? You say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Let's go with the second one. Pero, uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, Podríamos responder diciendo, yes, I am going to cook next weekend. Sí, esa sería la respuesta larga. La respuesta corta de short answer is yes, I am, no, I'm not. Pero si usted quiere decir una respuesta, yes, I am going to cook chicken soup. Sí, yo voy a cocinar sopa de pollo. Entonces esa sería una respuesta larga. Y la puede, lo puede hacer perfectamente. O puede decir la respuesta corta, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Ok. Thank you so much. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? Let's see, Jamilet Mendoza, are you going to go shopping next weekend? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's great. Se acuerda del teacher y le compro unos calcetines. Francisco Antonio, are you going to go shopping next weekend? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't have money. I don't have money. Okay. No money. Are you going to eat out next weekend, Jonathan? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you so much. Andrea, are you going to eat out next weekend? For salad. Uh, I couldn't listen to you, Andrea. Yes, I am going to eat out next weekend. Ok, excellent. Ahí nos trae una pierna del campesino. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Are you going to visit a touristic place? Damaris Rodriguez, are you going to visit a touristic place next weekend? No, teacher. I am not. I am working. Ah, ok. I'm sorry for you. You are going to work. Uh, let's see, Luis Edgardo, are you going to visit a touristic place next weekend? Luis, Carmen Menjibar, are you going to visit a touristic place? No, I am not. Okay, nice. Are you going to go to a birthday party? Nadie tiene una fiesta de cumpleaños el próximo fin de semana. No, no, I'm not. No, I know. Let's see the last I one. Know. Are you going to work next weekend? Yes, I am. 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 Okay, I'm so sorry to hear. Gracias that. a Dios. Diga. Gracias a Dios. Diga. Ah, okay. Gracias a Dios que hay Gracias. trabajo. Yes. Gracias. Aunque sea sábado y domingo. ¿verdad? Con toda la actitud. Yes, I am. Eso. That's great. You can do it. Okay, let's go with the next exercise. Thank you for your answers. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm scramble the following words to make correct sentences. Vamos a ordenar las palabras para hacer oraciones correctas. ¿Quién tiene ya la número uno? Yo, teacher. I am going to buy a pizza. Okay, excellent. I am going to buy a pizza. Yes. The second one. ¿Quién ya tiene la segunda? It's a question. It's a question. Is going. Is she? Is she going? Is she? Va muy bien. She is going to hear the party. She is going to hear the party. Hear the party. Hear the party. Okay, ya tiene la mitad. Is she going? Is she going to have? Va bien, va bien. Is she going to have a birthday party? Excellent. Is she going to have a birthday party? Yes. Yeah, sí. Thank you. Number three. 
going Jam, to... do you have a question? Teacher, se escucha bastante interferencia. Okay. ¿Alguien más escucha interferencia? Yo, teacher, también estoy cortado. Alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. Ok. Se acabó la interferencia. Se acabó la interferencia. Bueno. Está de rebelde algún micrófono. ¿no? It's a microphone. Ok. Number three. Um, I, I'm teaching. We are going the decorate for party. We are going to decorate for the party. Thank you. Yes. We are going to decorate for the party. Number four. It's a question. Jamilet, tell me. Yes, teacher. Uh, number four, are they going to the gym? Le faltó el verbo. Are, 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 they, go, are... are they, are they go, I, are they going to go? To the gym. Ah, okay, excellent. Are they going to go to the gym? Excellent. Uh, let me see, Hugo Giovanni, question? No, no, no. no. Okay, it's okay. a question. Tell me. Is going to the English class? School? Mm, okay, you are class, but that is not the answer. It's a question. It's a question. Yes. 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 Okay. Is he going? Is he going to study? To study. study. Una palabra le hace falta. Is he going to study? Is he going to study? English. To. English, excellent. Is he going to study English? Va a estudiar inglés. Sí, verdad. Tiene que resolver la plataforma el fin de semana. Yes, the answer is yes. And the next, the last one, number six. It's a question. Teacher, are, yes. are you going? Are you going to work next weekend? Excellent. Are you going to work next weekend? Sí, teacher, ya le dijimos que sí. Ah, okay, no se no, no es para torturar. Are you going to work next weekend? Dice, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Thank you. Now let's see the answer here. I'm going to buy a pizza. Is she going to have a birthday party? We are going to decorate for the party. Are you going to go to the gym? Is he going to study English? Are you going to work next weekend? Those are the answers. Okay, let's go with the last exercise for tonight. And it is a conversation here. Yes, a second. Okay. Look at this conversation. It's between Angie and Philip. And Angie says, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? And Philip answered, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fables, when is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice, is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. 
What is this conversation about? Do you have any idea? Acerca de qué es la conversación. Francisco. Le pregunta a Angie si, si va a hacer algo interesante el fin de semana o algo excitante. Ok, y excelente. Y Philly le responde de que va a celebrar su cumpleaños. Entonces ella se emociona y le pregunta que cuándo es el, el cumpleaños. Y entonces él le dice la fecha. Y oh. ella le pregunta si tiene planes para ello. Y él le dice que eh, con su amiga Kaila va a ir a, a, a comer, a cenar afuera. Ok, y, excelente. Y que, que ella va a ordenar un, un pastel. Y al final le dice que pues, si probablemente los meseros van a, a, a cantar el... el el feliz cumpleaños a él. Ok, excelente. Y la última frase, it's so embarrassing. Es un poco penoso o embarazoso, le llaman. Ah, Muy sí, bien, sí, es un poco vergonzoso. It's so embarrassing. Vamos a ver, ¿a quién del grupo ya le han cantado en el pollo o en la pizza? ¿Alguna vez les ha tocado esa experiencia? Nobody. Happy. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. ¿Cómo yes. se sintieron? Yes, Happy o embarrassing. Pero como no nos conoce las otras personas, quizás. <laughs> no importa. It's so embarrassing. It's so I embarrassing. Feel happy. Ah, a usted, a usted le gustó. It was a good experience. Yes. I was <laughs> happy, he said. That's great. Pero sí da un poco de penita. Que le estén cantando a él. Ok. So, to volunteer to practice in this conversation, who wants to try? Two volunteers? Yo. Okay, I have one. Any other? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. So, I have the Maris and Francisco. And then we're going to have Luis and Hugo. And finally, we're going to have Jamilet and Jonathan. So can you please start the Maris and Francisco? The Maris, you are Angie. Francisco, you are Philip. So you okay. can start. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'll go, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take my out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a, a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much. I really like your pronunciation. Thank you. Yes, this word fabulous. Fabulous. Hey, fabulous. The rest, excellent. Thank you so much. Then in the next, we have Hugo and Jamilet, right? Yes. Yes. Are you going to do anything uh, extra in this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Uh, how is, when is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, 9th, Sunday. So, what are you planning? Well, my friend Kayla is going to make, going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to other Okay. Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing. Happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Thank you so much. It's so embarrassing. Thank you. Very good job. Then I have Luis and who was the other volunteer? Luis and Luis and I need another volunteer to practice with Luis. Thank you, Jonathan. 
Thank you so much. So Luis and Jonathan. Luis, can you please start? Okay. Are you going to anything exiting this weekend? Jonathan? Wait, wait. I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It is our night Sunday. So, what are your plans? Wait, my friend Kayla is going to to take me out for for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the wait, waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It is so embarrassing. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much, Luis and Jonathan. Thank you for your help in this part. Just this word, exciting. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Celebrate. And it's another one, fabulous. Fabulous, exactly. When is your birthday exactly? And Bar embarrassing. Embarrassing. Bar it's so embarrassing. Thank you so much. Do you have any question? Okay. In a último dice Angie Nice, is she going to or la donde está la O R D como una pronunciación. Which one? Donde Angie. Nice. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Ah, okay. Is she going to order a cake? Okay, thank you for your question. Any other question? No more Teacher, question. Ese, ese, well, es, he usado veo en dos oraciones ahí. Um, el significado en español. Pienso. Sería bueno. Bueno. Bueno, bueno okay. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any other question? Thank you for your question. Okay, for tomorrow, get prepared with your weekend plans. Prepárese para los planes que tiene el próximo fin de semana. You are going to share with your classmates. Tomorrow, we are going to have um, breakout rooms. Vamos a tener grupos pequeños donde usted va a practicar con sus compañeros, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, teacher. Sí, haga una listita yes, como de, de cinco, ¿verdad? Like five activities that you are going to do the next weekend for you to get prepared for tomorrow. Okay. okay uh, please don't forget to start working on the platform exercises. It's really important that you start working there. Es importante que comience su trabajo en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que no se le vaya acumulando para el final de la semana. Antes del día viernes a la medianoche debe estar terminada sección 1, sección 2. ¿De acuerdo? Thank you so much. Ha sido un gusto estar con ustedes esta noche. Thank you. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Eh, good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Teacher, yo sé que esta compu es mía, es de mi sobrino. Yo te envío el link en la plataforma aquí en el Zoom. Es que podría anotar eh, mi número de teléfono aparte para que lo pueda eh, unirme al grupo. Ok, ya lo tengo anotado acá, no se preocupen. Ok, ahí le envío en el chat. Ok, ahí le envío el enlace para que se pueda okay. unir al grupo. Ok, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.